Warning, this can cause damage to your world spawn, so just know that if you have any buildings or anything here that you don't want to be damaged, do not do this. Alright, so what's going on everybody, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily kill the wither in Minecraft Bedrock 1.16.100. Now this will work anywhere from 1.16 all the way up to 1.16.100, which I'm doing this right now. If the new version comes out, I will post in the description, I'll post in the title, I'll post in the pinned comment that this will no longer work. If there's nothing like that, that means it still is working and you can trust it. Alright, trust, trust, trust me, trust me. Now, I do have this exact same tutorial on my channel already, but everyone thought that th this wasn't working in the beta because it wasn't working in the beta. Don't ask me why it wasn't working in the beta. I don't know why betas are glitchy. But now everybody thinks that these don't work in 1.16.100 because they didn't work in the beta. Anyways, let's just get right on to materials. Materials you need, you will need a pickaxe. You will need a shield. You don't necessarily need a shield, but trust me, they are super, super handy. You'll need 14 blocks of obsidian, you'll need 4 soul sand, you'll need 3 wither skeleton skulls, and 1 empty locator map. Yes, it does have to be locator map. Now, we need to hop into the end. In the end, if you haven't already killed the ender dragon, kill the ender dragon. You, you need to do that. You don't want a flying uh, demon dragon uh, like fighting you while you're fighting the wither. Once you have the dragon dead, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the center thing where the portal will spawn, as you can see right there. You're going to go to your map, and you should see how you have the portal where the player is. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the north side, which is the top side. So you're going to go to the north top side, and then you're going to face south towards it. So as you see on the map, the little dot, like my little arrow person, is facing down, and I'm on the top side. This is very necessary. If you get this wrong, it's not going to work. Another simple, easy th way to know this is how your obsidian platform is always going to spawn on the east side or the right side of a map. So that means if you go from this, and you just go over here. If you go over here on the right side, it will always be the right side from your platform. But anyways, first thing what you're going to do is just get out your handy dandy pickaxe. And you're going to dig a stair three down. So you're going to like have this three by three and then go down in a stair like a so. Punch out these and these. You're going to get right under these three bedrock right here in the center. See, you don't want the walls to the portal. You want the bottom of the portal, which is this. So you're going to start to dig out these. You're going to dig out four back. So this is one, two, three. We need to go four back like so and three down. So make sure that you go three down. I was accidentally two down. You need to go three. Now that you have this four by three room, you're going to go two to the right side. To the right side. I repeat, to the right side. Now that you have gone to the right side, what you're going to do is you're going to make a T-shape out of obsidian like so, all the way to the right. So it should be the wither T-shape. And you're going to make another one right next to it, but this block should be combined for both of them. So you basically have a line across, space, obsidian, space, obsidian, space. Then you're going to do another layer of obsidian on top of that. Now I dug out a little bit more so you can actually see how this looks. You don't need to dig out any extra blocks other than that, but this is how it should be looking. Also know that if you have like obs obsidian or if you have endstone right there where the sal soul sand is going to be placed like this it will not work the wither will not spawn so make sure if your wither's not spawning spawning make sure that you're on a difficulty such as easy normal or hard and make sure that there's no blocks by its tail what you're going to do is you're basically just going to place your head on place your head on as you can see you should go to this block right here I suggest you get your shield out in your offhand and stuff if you're in survival it'll be like this Obviously, and then, like, yeah, it's all good. No, I'll even switch to survival. As you can see, I'm in survival right now. Like, I'm right here right next to him. Punch him. So that if you do, he is now able to hit you and see you. So just know that you don't really want to fight him unless you're super, super prepared. <laughs> As you can see, he's almost halfway. When he gets halfway, as you guys probably know, his wither skeletons will spawn. They'll spawn, but he'll, the wither skeletons will instantly die. They're not instantly die, but they'll start getting damaged because of suffocation and the wither hitting them. I see they're about to die. Wait for it, they're about to die. Right, there we go, and they die. to die wait for him to die just a couple more seconds 
And there we go. He's about to do his final blow. Make sure you have your shield out so then you don't get damaged or killed by it. I see bada bing bada boom. He goes boom boom. Bada bam. You see your wither star is right there. And just know that if you want to do this again and again over and over again, just simply replace the obsidian blocks that he broke. And then what you can do is you can just slap on your wither heads and your soul sand once again. Works perfectly fine. Now let's go down with the science of this. So, how it works is you obviously place it on your head. What happens is you place it here. I didn't see the spawning mechanism. It's super weird. It's a Java edition where it just spawns where the tail is. What it does is it spawns like three blocks over. So and ask me why that happens. It just happens. So, let me demonstrate with a single layer of obsidian. You have a single layer of obsidian. See, he just phases through. For whatever reason, with the double obsidian, he doesn't phase through. Don't ask me why. I don't know. It's just this weird glitch that I came across. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, how there can be causes of damage to your world spawn. Now, in my case, I had no damages, but in my experience and um, testing and all that stuff, about like 50 to 75% of the time, you will get some world spawn damage, but not a lot. Probably like a 3x3x2 three by three by you'll get of damages, and if there's water, there won't be like any damages. So just know that if you have any buildings or anything in the spawn, I su really suggest you don't do this, or if you don't care that much, do it anyways. I don't know. That's pretty much the entire video. If you did enjoy me, smash like, subscribe, new as always, post notices from my other fellow YouTubers. If you want to use this in your videos, go ahead. I'll be more than happy to hand it over. Just one thing, give credit. That's all I'm asking for. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I gotta say. See you next one. Goodbye.